Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss about the problem sum of first n natural numbers. So for this problem, we are going to write algorithm and the algorithm we are going to convert to flowchart and finally, we will implement the code using C language. Before writing the algorithm, first we need to clear about what is the input and what we are expecting that is output. So here the problem says that sum of first n natural numbers. So first of all, what are natural numbers? So natural numbers always start with 1 and end with infinity. So here it is mentioned that first n natural numbers means starting with 1, 2, 3 and so on up to n. For example, if n equal to 4, then first 4 natural numbers are 1, 2, 3, 4 and as per the problem, we need to find out sum of these first four natural numbers. That means 1 plus, 2 plus, 3 plus, 4, which is equal to 10. So, this is the output which we are expecting for input n equal to 4. So, let's start writing the algorithm. So, for this algorithm, what is input? We need only one input, which is n and what is output just a number which is sum which is produced by adding first n natural numbers so now let's write algorithm so step one first step of algorithm is always start right step two first we need to know what is the value of n right so means we have to read number n so this is going to be the input which we are reading from the user input which is read number n. So step 3 is we need to declare a variable sum which is going to be produced by adding these first n natural numbers right. So first we need to declare the variable in this case I am using it as sum declare sum as 0. Step 4. So here we need to find the sum of n natural numbers. So, for this whenever we are seeing this kind of situation that n, n numbers we have to submit or n numbers we have to read there should be some counter variable whether we are reaching n or not. So, that counter variable also let us declare it. So, declare counter variable which I am using as i to 1. Step 5. Let us as per step 2 we are reading number let us assume n equal to 4 and we have declared sum equal to 0 and i equal to 1, right. We have to be sure that we are summing up of total 4 numbers. So, for that one we are using this counter variable, right. So, i less than or equal to n. So, total 4 numbers we have to read. So, we are using condition is it i less than or equal to n or not. If i less than or equal to n, we have to sum the first number. That means sum equal to sum plus first number is 1 itself right 1 and i is going to be incremented by which is 2 then again 2 less than or equal to 4 that means again we are summing up sum equal to sum plus 2 so in this case sum is going to be 1 and then which is equal to 1 plus 2 which is equal to 3 so then again i we are incrementing which is 3 so Again, we are checking 3 less than or equal to 4. So, total how many numbers we added? So, first 1 we added, 2 we added. We have to add the next number which is 3. So, sum equal to sum plus and then number is 3. So, if you notice it, whatever i, the same number we are adding it. So, instead of this, simply we can mention it as sum equal to sum plus i until i less than or equal to n correct so here we got it 6 then again let's see what is the so i value i is became 4 so 4 less than or equal to 4 which is true so sum equal to sum plus i so sum is 6 and plus i which is 4 which is equal to 10 then i incremented to 5 so 5 less than or equal to 4 so this is false right so 
here it is going to be ended and the desired output is 10. So now using this let's convert to algorithm. So here what is the condition we are using whether we are adding n numbers or not we are using the condition is i less than or equal to n. So based on that we have to repeat some steps until i less than or equal to n. So if i less than or equal to n what we have done? We have updated sum equal to sum plus i and again we have incremented. So step 7 i equal to i plus 1 right. So that means in step 5 we are going to repeat 6 and 7. So once it is done we are finally going to print sum and then finally we are going to stop the algorithm. So I hope algorithm is clear. Now let's write flowchart for the same. Now let's convert the same thing into flowchart. The first step of algorithm is always start. We use vowel shape to represent start or stop of the algorithm. Right. So let's draw vowel shape and we will mention as start. The st second step is we need to read the number n for input or output we use parallelogram so let's draw a parallelogram and we have to mention that read number n. Here third step is declaration third and fourth steps are declaration usually for declaration means we need to do some action here also like uh, assign sum to 0 it is an action assign counter variable i to 1. For declaration or doing some action, we always use rectangle. So let's draw rectangle and mention declare sum to 0, i to 1. So these two steps I have combined as 1 in flowchart. So next step is condition. So what is the condition here? We need to perform some steps based on the condition i less than or equal to n. So usually for condition, we use diamond symbol and inside this we have to mention i less than or equal to n. So what is the outcome here either true or false means yes or no. But let's write for if it is true which is yes. So if it is true we have to perform these steps right. So here what we are doing sum equal to sum plus i and i equal to i plus 1. So this is also like a, we are doing some process, some action we are doing here. So again we have to use rectangle and we have to mention what we are doing it. So update here, first one is sum equal to sum plus i and i equal to i plus 1. Once i is incremented, again we have to check this condition, right? So the flow will be from this line, it has to go to again checking the condition. So other outcome is going to be no. So if it is no means we have to print this sum. So printing sum is means writing the output right. So for output or input we use parallelogram. So let's draw a parallelogram and mention print sum. So once it is done we have to stop the algorithm. For that again we have to use vowel shape and we have to mention stop. So here this is step 1 as per algorithm. This is step 2 and this is step 3 and 4 right and this is step 5. So step 5 is true then we are performing 6 and 7. Right? If it is no, then we are performing step 8 and finally step 9. I hope now algorithm and flowchart is also clear how we converted algorithm into the pictorial representation which is flowchart. Now let's write code for the same using C programming language. So let's start with writing the header and int main return 0. First we need to read the number n. So we will declare as int n and we need to read this number from user input. 
so we have to ask user to end member end right so once it means we have to scan the number which user has been entered using scan of percentile d and number reference we have to give which is and n then what we have done here we are declaring sum to 0 and we are declaring i to 1 so int sum equal to 0 and int counter variable which is i which is equal to 1 once declaration is done then we are checking the condition is i less than or equal to n or not so usually we do using for loop or while loop so in this video i am going to write using while loop so a similar question which is the sum of given input numbers i have already explained using for loop writing this i less than or equal to n using while loop so while so here it is highlighting that first we have to write the condition so what is the condition here i less than or equal to n or not if i less than or equal to n what is the code we have to write it so these two steps are the one which we have to execute when i less than or equal to n so let's write it first one is we have to update sum equal to sum plus i and we have to update the counter variable i equal to i plus 1 so once we increment i again it is going to check whether this condition is true or not right so once this is done then we have to print the sum so how we will print it using printf statement sum of first n number is so we have to give n and we have to print finally output which is sum so this is the code which we have converted using this algorithm right so now let's run the code and see for a couple of examples so i'm just running the code and here i got input for entering number n so let's give number as 4 so sum of first four numbers is 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 which we have already seen it is 10 and let's run it once again sum of first five numbers so first four numbers is already 10 means other number is going to be 5 right so it has to give output 15 let's see so sum of first five numbers is 15 i hope this video is helpful to you thank you for watching stay tuned happy learning